appear having perfect vision, eagle eye vision. That is about being able to see deeper into all aspects of life and existence and reality. As a psychic medium and shaman and trans channel and a soul locksmith is what I like to call myself. Because really the nature of all of these titles of being a psychic medium, of being a trans channel, of being a shaman, is that the essence and core of the work is to help you pass through places where you are locked or blocked and get back into the true home, which is the true soul, the essence of who it is that you are, the magic, the love, the energy of what we all are. And so as a soul locksmith, I want to unlock those doors so that you get back to where you There's want. There's times in your life when you feel separate from people. You feel different and you feel like you are definitely not one with them or aligned in their beliefs. So that is quite understandable. No one is expecting you to agree with and align with seven to eight billion people on the planet. Everyone having their own cultural ideals and all of their own life experiences. There's no way that you can possibly agree with everything. But what you can do is see the alignment in our human experience. Today we are talking about home. We are talking about untangling family, genetic, spiritual, ancestral, DNA, also programming from the home that you grew up in. We are going to be talking about your creative potential and your artistry that resides within you and how that can actually save your life. During the hardest times in your life, your art can actually bring you out into a place where you can find solace. We are talking about peace, oneness, and unity of all of reality. This is the way of the seer. The seer, the shaman of the self, understands that there is only oneness that goes on at all times. Now, one can call this the removal of duality. What happens when you go through the ascension process is you awaken to this new way of breathing, of living, of being on the planet. So your entire body changes. From the inside to the outside, you are going to feel so many changes. Too many different conversations you are gonna to start to have with yourself that you've never had before. You're gonna question everything and you're gonna wonder if you're going crazy or you're gonna wonder if everybody else is going crazy. But what you're actually doing is you're birthing yourself. You're having a full ascension birth. When you decide to be on the path, consciously of the way of the seer, then you are understanding that no one ever did anything to you. Otherwise, now you're praying to the crystal. Let's just play to the, pray to the pyrite. Why don't you hear? Pray to this. What's the difference if, this, if it is this or it's a statue of whatever religion you were raised in? Or a book, whatever. You can't even begin to truly understand the objects of the metaphysical world that the shaman uses, that the seer uses, unless you are free and here too. Now these experiences and the modalities of healing of metaphysical knowledge, whether it's Reiki or energy work or sound healing or could keep going, psychic work, mediumship, channeling, shamanic work, medicine journeys, cacao ceremony, sound baths, keep going, yoga, breath work, all of it, beautiful, real, but they all will say the same thing, it's about you, in the end, they'll all come down to that, in the end. So when we are here speaking this way, it's because you're tired of constantly thinking you need to know more. Um, let's say more classes, more seminars, more workshops, all great. You can take them, but please understand the point that I'm trying to make. There comes a point where you get very serious about this aspect. Then everything, then all the workshops and seminars and books and teachers and YouTube videos are fine because you have the basic, you want to say the rudimentary strength to curl that weight. You've, you've, you've built it enough. And this comes with the practice of gratitude. This comes with the practice of surrender. Surrender to what? Surrender to the magic. What magic? 
reality. This is all magic. You will fall asleep tonight and then you will be in another environment, fully believing that that environment is real. And then you'll wake up and think, then no, you're back to reality. But actually, maybe the dream was real. So how will you feel comfortable in your environment? Allow other people to help you. I can't stress that enough because this is not a solo journey. This is not a way seer alone in the forest by yourself with your cloak on, holding your lantern, seeing to find your way. That's only a phase, but eventually you come out into the clearing. You'll leave the forest and you'll come out into the big wide open pastures with the sun shining on you. And the whole goal is for you to feel this peace and to feel this calmness within your being and you're breathing and you're calm within yourself because you know that you are with yourself. You are home. You are with you. So how can you be in better hands than that? But you have to first teach yourself and guide yourself on how you can be a better friend to yourself, a better listener, and also somebody who can get a hold of yourself.